Hello everybody, this is Andrea Antonello from the Joe Paparazzi Project and today I'd like to show uh, you a, a couple of very short videos to show what the upcoming Joe Paparazzi 4 release will bring. So the first thing is we will we are working from a folder based project to a single file project so if I run Joe Paparazzi I now have the possibility to have a look at project info since it's all in a single file we added some metadata where it can do project name description notes a creation and last closing date which is uh, inserted by the system and you can also let's see add some user okay so if I close this now and have a look there is okay the last uh, the last um, project I created before doing this pro uh, tutorial is Jopaparazzi underscore 2 but on first run it will be Jopaparazzi the extension which is registered to the system is GPAP so if I just click on this, it will now open Joe Paparazzi directly, which is not so bad. So you can also create a new project as you always could. Uh, it's already existing, let's say number three. And if I now close this and refresh, there should be use the fingers a job paparazzi tree. So I can just click on this, and in the info, we have also the name of the folder uh, of the database. Okay, why did we choose to uh, use a single file approach? Um, mainly because of the fact that if we create forms based on pictures, let's say for example, uh, okay to show you this, I'll have to show you another new thing. The sliding drawer is no longer here, so you can't drag it down to find the tools. Instead you simply have to long tap on the upper menu button so they will appear and the same for make them disappear the system obviously will remember if you have those active so let's just add a simple image okay, let's do one of those okay All right, so oops, I pushed the wrong button. Uh, so if I now have a look at the file explorer, you will see that the Joe Paparazzi tree file is one and two megabytes. This means actually that all the images are now put inside the database. I know some people don't like that, but we don't really have performance issues issues on this. Um, because it's not really a image processing tool, Jopaparazzi, and we prefer to place this in the database uh, because it's it's good when you supply your project to someone else to be able to give it in a consistent way. I didn't like the fact that uh, having images loosely in a folder, not really connected to their entries in the database, was sometimes going to be messy. And if I click and open up, it really doesn't show any performance issue. Okay. Um, the other big, big thing is that we will now have a polygon editing. So if we, for example, 
activate a couple of layers there will be the possibility to activate those tools. These tools here are this here is just to select features on any layer so you can see up here it will show in which database and in which table it is and here you will have a list of all of all the um, uh, attributes in the table and here you will also see how many features you have selected so you can swipe from right to left through the features and you should see also change you see that you see change uh, changing the, the the table and database but there is also another way if you long tap on this you will get a list of of possible layers to edit but I will talk about this in another in the next tutorial so this is I think kind of all it needs one new nice thing is that you know there is also okay there is also a way to change the maps folder and it always shows you this the currently chosen map that you selected but there is also from the settings menu the possibility to choose a custom SD card but also a custom maps folder these settings need to uh, for your paparazzi to be restarted so if I click here there will be the list of all the last chosen folders and I will be able also to browse list I'm not sure I have a second folder here yeah maps Bonsano. let's pick this and I say okay I choose this one and I restart your paparazzi and I should now have a different list of tile sources which is nothing these are the default ones so this folder most probably had oops, no, had like spatial light layers okay good I think the import and export they work as they always had so I think there's not a lot more to say about it. I will now cut this off and start another short video about Polygon, how to handle Polygon editing in special light. Thanks a lot. Bye.